everybody and uh, welcome to Raising Vibrations with myself Simon. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you the uh, moon through the houses and moon in the signs for you, the series. And uh, what we're going to be focusing on today is uh, moon in Pisces. So if you've got the moon in the 12th house or if you have moon in Pisces, this will be directly applicable to you. And also if you actually have um, the Pisces on your fourth house, okay? If you have Pisces on the fourth house. Right, so what are we looking at here? Now, before I actually go ahead and just share some of the perspectives associated with this um, symbolism, um, what we need to do is just go ahead and look at the introduction video, okay? The introduction video gives you some insight and really grounds the perspective of um, what the moon symbolizes in your birth charts, okay? Brilliant. So what we're looking at here when somebody manifests the moon in Pisces, the moon in the 12th house, is a soul that is essentially extremely sensitive to its environment, okay? These are the types of um, dynamics that are associated with this. Your sensitivity to environment is incredible, okay? And what is basically happening here is, is that on one level, your, your spiritual intention is to develop total inner security, okay? And your total inner security comes through aligning yourself with a sort of transcendental belief system that teaches you about very deep, truths about the nature of creation, about the nature of life, okay? You'll notice that you'll be attracted to a lot of things that uh, are, in a sense, like defined as spiritual, okay? You'll be attracted to a lot of things in your life that will uh, teach you about the nature of meditation or wanting to connect to a higher source. One of the reasons as to why you would probably manifest uh, Neptune uh, moon experience or in this particular instance, moon in Pisces or moon in the fourth house, part of me, 12th house, is that the soul is looking to culminate and dissolve the nature of its egocentric structure and to allow for a new ego to manifest itself on every single moment to moment basis. And this can be sometimes very scary and sometimes difficult because what's happening is, is that you're experiencing your self image as a collection of images consistently going through all the time. And it's like a movie experience, you know, like a movie theater where you're just watching all these things go past you. And you're transitioning into every single moment needing to integrate an incredible amount of like a profound amount of inner security and a sort of like resistance to your environment because you're so sensitive to it. Remember that Pisces is the end of the zodiac, so it symbolizes an entire 360 degree openness. So what's happening here is, is that not only are you learning to integrate an incredible amount of, um, like I said, sensitivity and protection, you're also like evolving in this lifetime quite a lot. And the reason why this is the case is because you're aligning your sense of spiritual destiny with your ego. And this is one of the things that will manifest in your life is the need to actually align this ego structure, this personal body with the sense of definition that allows you to find a spiritual path. So it's really important for you to align yourself with something uh, to, to or align yourself with a destiny that gives you a sense of fulfillment in a spiritual way, in a deeper way. One of the things that I highly recommend uh, staying away from is uh, substances, um, drinking, alcohol, you know, form of drugs, etc. Um, these are definitely something that can be highlighted for you because of the fact that they represent alternate states of consciousness. So it is about learning to be grounded in yourself and then to allow a deeper meaning and a deeper connection to your cosmological essence. Um, so that you can actually manifest those altered states of consciousnesses without needing to, you know, use uh, synthetic ways. Okay, brilliant. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, please be sure to check out uh, my website, uh, simonforster.com. I've got loads of content over there and um, book a soul session uh, with myself. And uh, let's delve deeper more into your astrology chart. Okay, great guys. I uh, hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.